Naturally, when my father made a malicious missing person report in 2010, I started to react. I have saved emails about this missing person report from the Thames Valley Police. I have the case. Reference number. I have emails from those policemen. My father made a missing person report under a false claim that I was living with my parents to an Indian PC of the Thames Valley Police. The Indian PC emailed me using a tone like addressing a moron. He then went on long leave and could not be reached. I was living with my boyfriend in London and my parents were living in the Reading countryside. If I was missing, my boyfriend would be the one to know that I am missing and complain about it. The police said they were hunting me down. They said to come to a police station with some identification so that they could take me for a mental assessment by any hospital employee as per my father's orders. Meanwhile, the police were at my heels saying my father had ordered a mental assessment, which I knew he did not have a legal right to do. Only a doctor could order a mental assessment, but the police, if they wanted, can maybe order me to see a doctor for a mental assessment. But I'll have to first be arrested and in their custody. There was not any case to arrest me without incident. What my father could have done was request the police or immigration to arrest me and detain me under psychiatry or whatever. A request is not an order. It would be up to the police or immigration to carry out his request or not do so. Understanding this point is a matter of basic literacy. The British up to this point in time, disgrace and dishonor. Female literacy. The British justice keeps females from getting punishment it lets them get away with murder if they produce the standard female response, which involves knowing nothing, understanding nothing. I explained to them on Skype that I was alive and well and that I didn't mind keeping in touch with the police to reassure them. I said I also did not mind coming to a police station with an ID. But there was not going to be any mental assessment, I said. I explained that my father did not have the legal right to order a mental assessment. But the police did not seem to understand. The police told me that they would hunt me down and catch me and then it things would be bad for me. I even taped these conversations with the police but nobody subsequently wanted to hear that evidence. But getting away from the police even if you succeed is an ordeal it is not an experience I would wish on my worst enemy. I used very simple techniques to keep my location private. But I never knew if they would after all come and catch me. Would they geolocate my phone? The police were keeping tabs on my ATM transactions and hung out by ATMs where I made a withdrawal of cash. People who hide from the police have usually committed a crime. But occasionally, respectable people could suffer this predicament, or they are sought after for political reasons, and not necessarily involved in criminal activities. Being a fugitive from justice, even for a day, and even if they hide successfully, is an ordeal. It is one of the most painful experiences unless you are thick-skinned like those old-fashioned ladies that used to sell themselves.